Have you ever thought about how simple life could be if you could measure progress like a video game? So this week I thought I'd mix it up and share my thoughts on an incredibly addictive video game called Game Dev Tycoon. Now I've played through this whole story about five times, which is really saying something since I rarely play a game more than once. First of all, this is in the simulation category, which is one of my favorites outside of story-driven RPG. And this game is all about you creating your own video game company. Super fun, right? Did I really just say super fun? The way I found out about this game is actually really interesting, as it has to do with piracy. Not like ships and eye patches, but I mean like downloading games that you didn't pay for. Indie developer Greenheart Games has a keen understanding of how piracy can affect a small game company. So they gave pirates a relatable example of what piracy can do to a small indie company. I'll put a link in the description, because it's a really interesting read. This game was originally released on PC, but now it's out on iOS and Android, which is the version I'm going to be showing you today. Okay, I think that's enough background, so let's just go ahead and jump in. First of all, you choose your company name and avatar. Also, I always choose avatars with blonde hair. This may very well go back to my Final Fantasy days, but I am obsessed with avatars with blonde hair. And I think my character's gonna wear this sweet sweater vest thing. And now here's where the game starts. You are in the dawn of computer gaming as an upstart indie developer based out of your garage. And check out that sweet DeLorean in the corner. To start, you just have to tap the screen to develop your first game. One thing I love about Game Dev Tycoon is its level of customization. You get to pick the topic, genre, and platform that it's released on. You have four randomly generated topics to start, but you can research more. And since I love this topic, I'm going to pick fantasy. And since the genre of RPG goes well with fantasy, I'm going to pair those two together. Now you can choose to name your game at several points during the process, but I like to name my game as soon as I pick the topic and genre combinations. Then you get to decide where the game's going to be released. You only have two platforms to start, but that will change as time progresses. You also have limited graphics options to start, but that changes as well with experience. And then this takes us to the most critical part of the game creation phase, the development stages. This is where you take your topic and genre combinations into consideration and focus on what is most important for the game. For instance, heavy emphasis on story and dialogue for an RPG. However, having a good combination and focus doesn't always make a hit game. There are a lot of other considerations such as employee talent, age of game engine, popularity trends of the time, and so on. As you are developing your game, you'll receive points in four categories. Bugs, design, technology, or research. Bugs are unavoidable when developing a game, and you can only get rid of them at the last stage. Now you could choose to release a game with bugs, but then you could lose fans, which you gain primarily by releasing good games. Design and technology points help to make your game better overall. Research points allow you to research new topics, train employees, and get technologies that go into custom game engines. Once you finish and release a game, it'll be reviewed by four prominent video game sources. These scores, and how many fans you have, will affect how many copies you actually sell. While it seems like this formula could get old, Game Dev Tycoon introduces new levels of complexity, but not so quickly that it overwhelms the player. For instance, as the game progresses, you see systems come and go, which forces you to shift your strategy based on what platforms are popular at the moment. Later in the game, you can also hire and train employees. This adds to the complexity when trying to balance between researching new technologies and training your employees to become specialists. Also in the game, you can develop your own MMO or create your own video game system. And both of these are entirely different experiences. My only real critique of Video Game Tycoon is that the systems are always released and retired in the same order, and they always have the same crowd draw. It would be nice if sometimes the Vanagir could surpass the game link, so I don't always know which platform is going to be the most popular to put my game on. So overall, I give it 4 out of 5 controllers, and maybe a few buttons. It's not perfect, but it's very good. And considering you can buy it for around $5 on mobile makes it well worth the cost. Okay, well that's enough for this week. Um, if you played the game before, I'd love to hear some feedback on what your experience has been. And with that, I'll see you next week.